Good evening. Welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. I'm Pastor Vandercook. I do apologize for not making a video last week. Uh, I was out of town, actually, at uh, an Evan Evangard camp in Iowa. Uh, you should look that up if you are a son or a father of sons. Uh, something you should check out. E-V-A-N-G-U-A-R-D dot org. Ev Evangard dot org. Uh, you should you should go to that if you are if you are a male over the age of eight. It's good stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to promote that or not, but I'm sure I'll find out if I'm not. All right. So uh, today we're looking at Psalm 119 uh, verses 89 through 96 uh, as we move on through Psalm 119 here. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, uh, there are some very familiar words to lead off this psalm, uh, especially if you are familiar with uh, the prayer offices that we have in our hymnal. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Or, as you might have heard it before, forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Uh, just a slightly different translation. Uh, and we use that as our responsory after the readings in the prayer offices. Uh, and it reminds us of the permanence of God's word. God's word is not something that goes away. It's not something that uh, that fades away, that, that expires with time. It is a constant. It's something that is concrete. It's something that we can always point to as being there. And so uh, here, forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. Uh, it goes on and on. It's, it, there's, there's no time that it goes away. Um, I really like this in verse 91. Look at this. By your appointment, they stand this day, uh, for all things are your servants. Uh, you have established the earth. All the things in the earth stand to this day. Everything stands because of God. It's not just that God has created the heavens and the earth. We acknowledge, as we do in the uh, first article of the Apostles' Creed, that God not only creates all things, not only gives us our bodies and souls, eyes, ears, and all our members, and, and all of the things that we need to support our bodies in life, but he still takes care of these things. He still maintains them. Uh, you see here that, that the psalmist uh, actually personifies this a little bit. Um, the, uh, all things are your servants. All things are still under God's control. Even in a world where things look like they're not in God's in control, the psalmist says, hey, the world that thinks that you're not in control is lying to me. You, Lord, are in control. All things are your servants. And then the psalmist gets into personally how this affects him. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. Because indeed, without the word of God, without what he says to us, we are, uh, we're left with nothing. Um, we perish in our affliction. There is no hope for us. But God's word does give us hope because it shows us where our sin is, but it also shows us where the gospel is. It shows us that in Christ Jesus, we have been forgiven of our sins. And then as Christians, the law shows us how we ought to live. And the psalmist here goes on to talk about uh, the wicked, the wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection. Uh, that's beautiful there, Psalm 90, or verse 96. I have seen a limit to all perfection. There the psalmist is talking about the things in the world. The world thinks that uh, it's found perfection, that it can get there, uh, that it can somehow get there on its own impetus. But here the psalmist says, no, no, there's a limit to that perfection because it's not really perfect. But instead, your commandment is exceedingly broad. The word of God covers all things and stands forever. We'll see you next week on Mondays in the Psalter.